Our first story of the day, the headline reads, there it is, ATF rolls into Baltimore to help eliminate their gun violence problem. That's the headline from Bearing Arms, and we'll go down here and I'll read the, the, the juicy part. To help combat the gun violence problem, the city has the Department of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, ATF. Sorry, when I say an alphabet government department, I get a little sick in my mouth. Has rolled out a new program allowing the city to borrow a quote-unquote gun tracing van. That's right. A gun tracing van. The ATF hopes to make this van and others like it accessible to cities nationwide. We're looking for all the help we can get. As you know, our murder rate is up. Murder is out of control. Too many guns on our streets. Well, this is a big time gun control zone, so... It's weird how there are still guns on the streets. Mayor Catherine Pugh told CBS Baltimore, the idea behind the van is simple. Oh, it's always simple, and it's always life-saving. Using shell casings and evidence to trace a gun owner's gun's owner fast. Once we take a recovered firearm, we're able to stick it into the small the snail trap discharge the firearm whereby we can get an exemplar from this particular firearm. It tells you definitively what gun has been tied to what homicide. ATF Firearms Division Chief James Ferguson explains, once the casings are analyzed, the weapons could be connected to other homicides. Sounds like a great idea, folks. And hey, I'm all for solving crimes. I'm all for that. But there's a price to be paid for that. And that is this. If you're going to be able to trace guns, you're going to have to register guns. You're going to need a national database, which, by the way, they already have. A national database that they can access whenever they want. Not a... Not a database that is used just to do the background check to see if you're allowed to get a gun. Oh, no, nothing can go wrong with that, folks. So the price that you pay for folks to be able to trace a firearm and to solve a crime quickly is, well, is that the government knows exactly what guns you have, which is good for the government, not so not so good for you. 